First at six, a breakthrough in the search for a serial killer in Alexandria. And police in West Virginia have in custody a man with possible ties, they say, to those three unsolved murders. Charles Severance was arrested last night in Wheeling on an outstanding weapons charge from Loudoun County. Our Northern Virginia Bureau Chief, Jeff Goldberg, begins our coverage with Severance's ties to Alexandria. Jeff. Well, Gordon, Charles Severance is a known name in Alexandria following runs for mayor in 1996 and 2000. Following the unsolved murders of Ruth Ann Lodato and Ron Kirby recently and then Nancy Dunning back in 2003, people here have been filled with sadness and fear knowing that the killer had not yet been caught. Residents say they are hoping that today's news is a big step forward. 53-year-old Charles Severance makes his first appearance in court Friday morning in Wheeling, West Virginia, facing charges on an outstanding warrant for illegal firearms possession in Loudoun County. But his possible connection with the unsolved murders in Alexandria remains unknown. Right now, we cannot say that Mr. Severance is a suspect. We're going to look at all possibilities of our investigation, but we do not have anyone charged in these murder cases right now. Alexandria police alerted authorities in neighboring states to be on the lookout for Severance, saying his name and face caught their attention after routine analysis of crime tips. Police in Wheeling tracked down Severance at a library. His history in Alexandria goes back years, including a run for mayor in 2000. He described himself as principal investigator at mentaldisorder.com. That domain is registered to Severance at his father's address in Oakton. On the site, he talks of being vilified by judges, the loss of custody of a son, and how he refused to speak to psychologists who he called demon-possessed, mad doctors. Robin Komar lives a few doors down from Severance's last known address in Alexandria on Gunston Road. She's hoping police got their man. You know, I think I'd be able to walk around a little bit more freely and just feel a little bit more comfortable. Alexandria Mayor Bill Yule says Severance exhibited odd behavior during his mayoral campaign. After seeing this composite sketch of the suspect, he had one thought. Deep in my heart, I honestly believe that this is someone that a lot of us will probably, once he is caught, um, will probably say, I knew I knew that person. Charles Severance has an extradition hearing on Monday morning in Wheeling, West Virginia. After that, it's very safe to assume that he will be brought back to Loudoun County on those firearms charges. But presumably in the days ahead, we can expect a whole lot of questioning regarding those unsolved crimes here in Alexandria. Live at Alexandria Police Headquarters, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Jeff. The word of a break in this case is bringing a mixed reaction from the Alexandria community. The widow of the second victim, Ron Kirby, said she is still grieving and is not focused on an arrest. I'm not hopeful and I don't think about it. I'm not vengeful. Others we spoke with in the neighborhoods where Kirby, Ruth Ann Lodato, and Nancy Dunning once lived said they hope they can put this behind them and feel safe again. And our team coverage on the arrest of Charles Severance continues now crossing state lines into West Virginia. That's where Tom Rousey is, gathering details about the movements leading up to Severance's capture. Tom's live tonight in Wheeling with details and has just obtained video you'll see only on ABC7. Tom? And Gordon, this is the Ohio County Public Library behind me. That is where Severance was taken into custody by police here in downtown Wheeling yesterday afternoon. They tell me they took him into custody without any resistance on his part, and he did not have a weapon on him. Before he was taken into custody yesterday afternoon, he was staying at a hotel about six blocks from here in downtown. This is video of the Knights Inn. It's just off the interstate you take to get to Wheeling, West Virginia. We have exclusive video you're going to see in a moment, surveillance video of when he checked into the hotel. He checked in two days ago, according to the hotel manager, and he only stayed for one night. He had actually checked out, but he left his car on the property before going to the library where he was found yesterday. The hotel manager that I talked to, his name is Anand Patel. He says that he really is worried and a little scared now that he's read what case Severance is a person of interest in. That said, he said at the time he saw him, other than being dressed a little strangely, Severance did not raise any red flags for him. He had a scruffy beard and he was wearing an afghan, but knowledgeable. I talked to him quite a bit about just history and the local area, and he knew quite a bit about the area. So he didn't seem like an overly strange man yeah. or anything? Not at all. I mean, he looked like a, hist like a typical history buff when someone hippie mixed in with a history buff. 
And as you can see, Wheeling here is a small town, and this has become the talk of the town here. I talked with Wheeling police. They say that they were contacted by authorities in Virginia, and that's what led them to know that Severance was staying at a hotel here. They tell me that when he was captured here, again, he didn't have a gun. They wouldn't comment on whether or not he had a gun at the hotel, but Patel, the manager, says at least in his room he didn't. He had a car on the property that was towed away, and police won't comment on whether or not a gun was found in that car either. It does appear, at least according to Patel, that Severance had just arrived in town two days ago and only planned to stay that one night before he was captured here at the library by police in Wheeling yesterday. Live in Wheeling, West Virginia, I'm Tom Rousey, ABC 7 News.